Yo what's up guys, this is Alias and in this tutorial I will show you how to make this really cool looking, colorful and bubbly text effect in After Effects and we don't need any plugins for it and it's super simple. And this tutorial is part of a bigger After Effects tutorial series, so I will put a link into the description and the comments to a nice After Effects tutorial playlist which you can check out later of course. But for this one, let's just start. So let's deactivate our text layers and just create a new text. And I'll just type in tutorial again. And then just press S on your keyboard to scale this up to whatever you like. Something like this. And then you can go to the Align tab on the right. And if you can't see this one, you have to go to the Window setting and just make sure the Align tab is selected. And yeah, with this one we can just center our text like this by pressing these two buttons. And yeah, this is good. So now let's add some cool effects. So first of all, searching for the four color gradient effect, which should be under generate. And just apply it on our text effect. And yeah, the colors don't look that bright. So we have to move these points a bit. So let's just select all these points and just move them to the yeah, corners of our text. So yeah, we will get the full colors just like this. And yeah, just move it right to the corners. Okay, this looks good. So let's add another effect, which is the CC glass effect. So just type in glass and this one should come up and then also apply this on this effect. And yeah, this one, now it gets interesting but we have to play with a few settings again. So yeah, maybe just turn on the height a bit to something like 15, I think looks good. You can also increase or decrease the displacement. I think something like 70 always looks good. And maybe change the softness to yeah 15 as well. So these settings I think look amazing. And then you can also Go to the yeah, light settings and change something in there if you want but i think you don't have to so maybe let's leave this one at the default settings but open up the the shading tab and yeah here you can also play around with some settings i like to decrease the, the metal setting to something like 50 and maybe turn up the specular setting a bit to 80 or even 100 if you want and yeah, but this doesn't look animated at all. So okay, now we can have we, now we can go back to the to the light tab and just go to the beginning of our animation and place a keyframe at light direction, and then just go to the end and bring this up a bit. And as you can see, our yeah lightning will get animated a bit, and I think this looks super cool. So if we play this, it will take some time to pre-render now because this is. Yeah, a bit, yeah, a, a lot for After Effects, but this looks really cool. So as you can see, this just moves around. I think this looks nice. Maybe, maybe we have a bit too much on the metal setting or on the specular setting. So I'll just turn this down again. But yeah, this looks really cool. Um, but let's give the color a bit more contrast. So search for the brightness and contrast effect in the effects tab again and just apply it as well and I like to bring up the contrast just to 100 so yeah the colors are really bright and yeah this is cool maybe you can turn on the brightness a bit if you think that's too much to minus 10 but yeah I'll leave it at zero so yeah this looks really cool but let's also animate this whole thing even a bit more. So let's add the turbulent displacement effect, which should be located under the stored. So just apply this. And yeah, this is way too much, of course. So yeah, let's first of all change the, the type from turbulent to bulge like this. And let's turn down the size to something like 70 and the amount to something like 20 or even yeah, let's go down a bit more to 10 and the size to 60 maybe, just like this. And yeah, this doesn't move at all, but we can animate this as well. So 
So let's go to our beginning again and place a key from a keyframe at evolution and then just go to the end again and just bring up the evolution a bit to something like one or two depending how fast you want it to be but yeah now we got this cool effect and this will take even longer to pre-render but yeah i think the result is amazing it looks really nice so yeah let's just take a look real quick yeah we got this cool wobbling effect as well and yeah this is nice but we're not done yet maybe we want to have a nice little glow effect so let's just select this layer and press ctrl d on the keyboard to duplicate it and then select the lower layer and let's give it some Gaussian blur so make sure to select this one and just apply it on the lower layer and just turn up the blurriness to something like 160 or yeah this looks good but it's too much so let's press t on the keyboard for the transparency settings and bring down the yeah opacity to something like 30 i think looks good something like this or 10 maybe 10 or 15 and yeah this looks really cool in my opinion and we are almost done or actually we are done i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and make sure to check out the playlist which is linked in the comments and yeah in the description as well